Shots fired and police cruiser rams during an incident near the U.S. Capitol. Jack Davis for Western Journalism reports that shots were fired Wednesday morning near the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. after a vehicle rammed into a police car. The suspect has been arrested, and that was only after following a foot chase. Serena Marshall, apparently who was witness to some of this, and tweeted, Seen in Capitol Hill, where a vehicle struck police cruiser and person took off on foot before being taken into custody. The incident took place at the intersection of Washington Avenue and Independence Avenue near U.S. Botanic Gardens and the Rayburn House office building. Drew Griffin tweeted, Sounded like shots fired at the Capitol. Our view from Rayburn shows uh, what he was able to see that morning. District of Columbia Police indicated the driver tried to ram a Capitol Police cruiser about 9.30 a.m. And that was when the first report was made of shots being fired. Our report suggested that the incident began after a car was stopped at a checkpoint near Capitol Hill. A lot of different stories going on there. Uh, DC police said that after the Capitol Police cruiser was rammed, the suspect tried to run over several police who were on foot. No police were injured in the attack, however. Doug Buchanan, a, a DC Fire Department spokesman, said the ambulances that were sent to the scene were not needed to take anyone to the hospital, police or uh, the perpetrator. It was unclear if the suspect fired at police, but according to DC police, the Capitol Police actually fired at the suspect, yet nobody was shot. About 15 minutes after the incident began, the suspect was arrested following a foot chase with the police. The FBI are now assisting in the investigation, and as of mid morning, there was no no knowledge or uh, of the motive for the incident. During the attempted attack, the Rayburn House office building was placed on lockdown. Wednesday's incident comes in the wake of several occurrences in which intruders have sought to scale even the White House fence. And one such instance, the intruder was actually roaming the White House grounds for as much as 15 minutes before they were apprehended. So, folks, if you like what we're doing here, Please make sure to give us a thumbs up. Also, leave comments in the, the comment section down below. There's going to be plenty of links in the description section of this video. Subscribe to our channel to make sure you get updates. Please be sure to share this report on social media. And folks, I'm Mike DePinto, normally host of the YouTube channel Right Wing News. But today I'm filling in for Gary Franchi. Badass shirt now available. Link in the description. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please, share this report, and, to get more videos like this, become an X News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching, the Next News Network.